haven't been in the, in the market here for 10 years now, I know that some of the biggest challenges, challenges exist within the organization to break through that barrier of, look, we know it's the right thing to do, but also what springs to mind is the phrase, you don't get fired for hiring IBM. So How, true. What, what, is, what are some of the tricks, tactics for, in, for internally to break through that barrier? It's, it's about courage. And there's no trick. The truth is a trick. The only thing that actually gets me, us at VaynerMedia hired is their business is on the brink of real trouble. People don't hire us when their business is healthy. And so there's no trick, brother. This is why I'm putting everything on film. This is about six years from now when the biggest companies, in the, like companies are gonna feel this. You can't throw that much money in the garbage for a sustained period of time without eventually feeling the effects unless you have a monopoly, a disproportionately better, I'll give you one. I think Apple's a very bad advertiser. I just think they had a disproportionately better product for such a period of time that it disguises. And so, you know, I think, I think that um, everybody's, t- you know, fashion, I think is unbelievably vulnerable. The big fashion houses are completely naive to what's happening on Instagram as they continue to pour money into Vogue. You know, and so like you'll have these moments. Then to to be very frank, I'm not unbelievably motivated of convincing anybody of anything. I speak from a selfish place. I want to put on film what I know will be revered later on to leverage that. I'm not I'm, I'm not in the business of convincing anybody. As a matter of fact, I apologize, it's in my best interest for people not to do this because when things co- collapse, their business will be less healthy which will allow me to buy businesses on one times EBITDA instead of three or nine the way they are now. So I'd actually prefer none of anybody would switch their behaviors. But why would you buy these businesses? Because I'm gonna remarket them. Because nostalgia is grossly underpriced, brand is underpriced. I don't want to start new companies. I want to buy something that's marketed for 100 years for pennies on the dollar and then make them contemporary. No all, different all than, cool, yeah, yeah, if you look at Fila and Tommy Hilfiger and Marvel. Marvel was a bankrupt comic book company but the IP was so valuable you just had to repackage it. So I think that BMW and Mercedes should be competing with Alexa and Google for home devices. Why can't BMW be in the high-end razor business? I think people are very literal and not creative with how they use IP. Um, so that's why I want to buy brands because I think there's a lot of upside. 